initiative. I don't sound excited. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of tired. I came home from work like a while ago. So yeah, I had work earlier this morning and I look like a ragged mess because I am a frontline worker. I work at a hospital. So great. Um, but I'm Paulina. I'm your co-host of Afro Anime Initiative. And I'm going to actually do just a quick quick little review of a movie I saw a while back. Um, I meant to do this review like a million times, but it just never came, the opportunity never came up. Um, a deepest apologies for just lack of content from my end. I know Her I know Darren's been holding on the fort, you know, for a while, so just all props to him for what he's been doing up until this point. I'm going to do my best to pick up the slack and just give you guys more content. Like I said, I'm reading right now Deathless Divide, the second book to Dead Nation, um, which is, it's an intense read. And it makes me mad for kind of all the wrong reasons, but like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna review it at some point when I'm done. It's a thick book. It's like this thick. So like 300? 300, maybe 400 some odd pages, I think. I think. I don't know. I'll have to look again. It's, I have it like right next to me, but I'm not gonna pull it out. Anyways, um... Any other updates? Uh, I, well, okay. About Carol and Tuesday, at least the second half, I know it dropped like a while ago. Um, I still have yet to put my eyes on it. To be frank, it may be a while longer. I'm not a huge fan of it, I'll be honest. Um, maybe the second half is even better than the first. Who knows? I'll jump into it and then I'll give you like maybe one or two videos about a couple episodes and my final verdict about the overall show and then that's it. Um, otherwise... Um, just, yeah, review time. Okay, so the movie that I am going to be talking to you guys about, just spoiler-free, basically, um, it's called Fast Color, came out sometime last summer, 2019, and it's, uh, feels short, but I think it's like two hours, or it's an hour and a half or something. Or it's 90 minutes. It felt short. And the reason why it felt short was because, as you know, it's an independent film, if I'm not mistaken. So it's, I don't know, it's like one of those things where it doesn't flesh out a lot of stuff. Like, it's imaginative, it's creative, but it just doesn't flesh out enough. So basically, the the gist of the story is, you know, you have this young woman running from who knows what, um, and she has this special ability. Um, now later, you know, she she meets different people, you know, for the most part, either you know helping her or you know trying to get her, and. Um, it's a bit of a short journey. Most of her journey revolves around her reuniting with her family, which consists of her mother and her daughter. Now, it's... I want to say it's interesting how her relationships, you know, influence her abilities because she has these seizures that causes massive earthquakes that are not natural to the landscape. And... So, she, of course, she's being hunted down by, like, this organization. Um, unfortunately, like I said, certain parts of the story isn't really fleshed out very much. And that's one of them. That's, you know, I wanted to learn more about this organization. Like, why are they after her? For what for what reason? They don't really go deep into that. And um, so the story, you know, she's trying to go home. And... Uh, she does, you know, get the attention of the organization. She makes, you know, the, an ally along the way. Um, you have this sheriff trying to find out where she is of the small town she's trying to return to. Um, she does eventually return home. She meets up with her mom. Her mom is like, why are you here? You know, her daughter's there. Her daughter's like a 10-year-old kid. Um, all black women, okay? 
and you you learn that the power that this young woman has this character has it her mother has it too and her daughter has it so it's generational like all the women in their family has this ability from like great grandmother all the way down to granddaughter you know and it's an interesting ability that i'm not going to get into okay but it rev it involves being able to have the ability to see colors if that makes sense like the way the way they um, conceptualize it is actually really beautiful and it pertains to you know relationships and family and you know her mom is able to control her powers of course and her daughter is able to maintain a good you know hold on her powers it's just this character in particular who has not for a long time and you see back and forth how she you know she ran away from home and because she's just had a, for a long time she hasn't been able to just maintain control over her abilities you know turned to drugs ran away from home had a had a kid brought back her kid and left it left the kid to her mom and then just up and left again so it's a whole back and forth kind of thing um, but again, for me, the whole, the whole theme and how, you know, everything worked out is, you know, whole with family and bonds and being able to let go and being proud of who you are and where you came from. And it's a beautiful thing because it always, it pertains to just, you know, how black women embrace their culture, embrace their ancestry and um pass along stories of their ancestors and their uh their moms and their fathers and so on and so forth um so i've always i've always appreciated a good story like that also it's a bit of it's a dystopian future where water is just no like in that region it hasn't rained in 20 something something years maybe i think I think it's a, it's been a little while since the last time I seen this movie, but yeah, so it's like this never-ending drought where people have to buy like just ra uh, rations of water and just use it for everything, for you know, just washing dishes to drinking water to just you know. But again, it doesn't really expand on that like i wanted to see more of this world like slight spoiler there shows potential of a sequel um because it it's um what was it like these you have these three these three women well two women one girl with these abilities in their family and at first they believe well at least the main character believed that they were the only ones with these abilities then she learns that no, there actually is somebody else with this ability. And at the end of the film, you know, shows this young woman and her daughter going to find this other person. And that's where it ends. And I don't know, the ending is beautiful. I love it. It's um, also Lorraine Toussaint, if I'm saying her name correctly, is in this movie. If any of you are, of you are familiar with her work, I mean, honestly, the only thing I can, well, no, there are two, there are two works that I recognize her in. One in Orange is the New Black, but it's like the earlier seasons. Like she plays a not so favorable character, um, if any of you remember her. And she was also in the NBC show, The Village. Um, check it out. It's actually a pretty cool show. Um, so yeah, she's a cool actress. I like her a lot. Um, now her name for some reason was like, oh, is she Haitian? No, she is, I believe, Trinidadian, if I'm not mistaken. Trinidadian or Belizean, one of those two. Correct me if I'm wrong in the in the, in the comments below. Um, but yeah, she's a fun actress. Um, she plays she plays the mother in the story. Um, so you'll you'll find some recognizable faces if you have an or um, if you have seen a other independent or mainstream stuff you may you may recognize some of these faces some of these actors and actresses um like i said um i can't spoil too much i don't i don't want to give too much to be honest um the rating that i would give 
out of five, let's say a good three and a half, four, three and a half more so. Um, because like I said, there's a lot that could be fleshed out but wasn't. And it felt too short. Like, it just went too fast for me. Um, but otherwise, you know, they, they had quite a few themes on the head. How just family is important and embracing who you are is very important. And I really, I really enjoyed that. I really appreciated a story like that. And um, like I said, just a gener like three generations of black women with incredible powers being hunted down by an organization which we still we don't know much about i mean I'm, i want to know more i want to know more so like i said the movie is called fast color uh, like i said it's on hulu came out last year 2019 so check it out give us your opinion on it see you know during this quarantine act of, I'm tired. I'm really tired. This pandemic, okay? Check it out. See see how you feel about it. Let me know how you feel about it and you know, say hey. Make any other suggestions you got for any other movies that you would like for me to review. This felt lacking. Apologies. I will do better. Um but I just wanted to get this out there and let you guys know just watch this movie. It's great. So, my name is Paulina. Thank you so much. Um, please stay safe. Be careful. Um, please wear your mask and maintain six feet. Don't be an idiot. I don't want to see you in the hospital. I really don't. I don't want to take care of you if you do this crap on purpose. Now, if you have underlying conditions, and if you're old, or whatever, that's understandable. But at the same time, if you still don't take steps, whatever. Again, I'm Paulina. Take care. Be safe. Don't be stupid. Thank you. Join the initiative.